Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my ninth video of 2021. A bit of a more chill video talking about PAX and PAX East's cancellation. PAX East 2021, that is. Due to, um, well, yeah, obvious reasons that I don't want to say in video because YouTube might kill me. I don't know. Also, the video is more chill because it's pretty late. It's almost midnight and I don't want to wake my housemates and I struggled finding a video idea and I didn't want to go a week without making a video. So here we are. For those who don't know, PAX East 2021 did get canceled. It's a bit unfortunate, but it makes a ton of sense. It usually happens around this time of year, and I'll go ahead and uh, read the announcement to you guys. In light of ongoing public health concerns, Repop and Penny Arcade will not hold PAX East this year. Given the United States' progress towards addressing the word in recent months, we are cautiously optimistic PAX West and PAX Unplugged will proceed as planned with in-person festivities September 6th or September 3rd and December 10th respectively. So they're hoping that the world is back to normal in September, and I gotta say, I sure hope so too. Since we can't wait until September to reconnect with the wonderful PAX community, PAX Online will return July 15th to 18th. Looking forward to that. We hope to build on the success of last year's record-breaking event and also engage with our community in new ways, such as the Indie Showcase that will take place between now and PAX Online. Expect to hear more about these exciting plans soon. I'm super excited to see what's going on in the indie space because that's honestly the best part of PAX. While we hoped PAX East could safely take place, we remained realistic and did not sell any tickets or space to exhibitors to avoid significantly inconveniencing our friends and partners, which is a really good thing because it would have sucked to have to deal with that. Because space is one thing, once you book flights, uh, it suddenly gets a lot hairier to have to undo all those plans. As we have shown via our actions throughout the pandemic, our utmost concern is the safety of the PAX family, from attendees, exhibitors, and show staff to media and content creators, as well as the local communities that host our celebrations of all things gaming. We will only move forward with a live PAX once we are confident the show will be safe for everyone. Repop and Penny Arcade will continue to monitor the situation surrounding the word, observe government guidelines and laws, and defer to health officials and experts on what is deemed safe. We are grateful for the efforts everyone made to make PAX East happen in 2021, and we look forward to returning to Boston in 2022. Now, obviously, this was a good choice. PAX gets completely packed. I got to volunteer at PAX East in 2019 for my alma mater, and despite being on the road at 5 a.m. and having to drive alongside possibly the worst drivers I've ever seen in my entire life, and the sidewalks there are like six inches wide, it's ridiculous, who made that city? It was a great event, minus the whole city part. Other than that, people might get mad at me for saying that, um, but it was, it was a really great event. And honestly, being there early, and getting to go down that escalator and see all the exhibits with no one there except the people hosting it was like, it felt VIP behind the scenes sort of deal. I do want to go again at some point. It was a really good time. And here's my tip to anyone who wants to go, just kind of don't go to the AAA stuff. I mean, you can maybe go to one the beginning of the day if you're there fast. But it's really not worth it when you're waiting in line for hours to get to some of these exhibits when you could just walk up to indie developer teams, talk to the people who are making the game, and play their game and talk to them about it. You know, I got to talk to the makers of Boyfriend Dungeon, which is a game currently de being developed by Kit Fox Games. And, you know, it's cool. You, you can get on a level of connection with those developers that you can't get at AAA. And that's kind of, you know, the super awesome thing. Have you guys ever been to PAX? If so, what were your experiences like? Or do you want to go to PAX in the future, and what are you expecting? Let's talk about it in the comments. And as sad as I am to see PAX East cancelled, it obviously was the right choice. It would have been a mistake not to cancel it. Hopefully they can give us a good indie showcase and a good show in July, which I should hopefully report on if there's any good news to look forward to. But if you enjoy this kind of video, the slow, chill, almost midnight vibes, then leave a like and subscribe. I'd super appreciate it to help the channel grow. And as always, happy gaming.